Hi, this is Sally. So um, I'm back with uh, my sharing for last Friday's question about whether sleep is important. Um, so I have three points to make. First, sleep is very underrated nowadays in our society. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the time to sleep. And thirdly, the duration of sleep. Um, first, about sleep being underrated. I think many times we think that being young and um, if we don't have any health scares before, we always feel like everything is, everything is possible, right? Uh, we talk about what we can actually do which uh, we can, in terms of health, and we look at our diet, we look at exercise. But sleep is not something that we do. Sleep is just some, it's rest. And uh, because of our busy lives, the easiest thing for us to do in order to get more accomplished with you is to cut back on sleep. There's even a 4 a.m. club where people talk about waking up 4 a.m., you know, and uh, as early as possible to get as much things done as possible. I think uh, 4 a.m. is fine if you have sufficient sleep. Yeah, so um, uh, this this issue was brought back uh, quite strongly uh, again just recently because about a week ago there were there was some news and uh, there was this popular um, TV uh, not TV, sorry, Instagram um, superstar, gym superstar. He looks good, you know, uh, he's gymming, he, uh, he has a fantastic body. He's only 37, right? And he suffered a stroke. And so uh, upon further investigation, it was found uh, there were two possible reasons. One was genetic. His mom had also a hypercoagulation condition, meaning that the blood clots very easily. And that was what happened to him. I think his blood clotted and the blood clot went up to his brain, which caused his stroke. Uh, the second contributing factor, uh, I believe is a contributing factor, it's not just the, f the first one, genetics alone, was that he sleeps at 3 a.m. and wakes up at 6 a.m. So that's three hours of sleep. Um, he tries to sleep in between, um, catching up his uh, on sleep during uh, taking naps during the day, but I don't think that is how the body works. The body just doesn't catch up that way. So... Um, that, that is why, that's just an indication why sleep is underrated nowadays. The second thing to think about is the time of sleep. Many of us think that, okay, literature says six to eight hours, I'm going to sleep at 2 or 3 a.m. and I'm going to have that six to eight hours of sleep and I'll wake up at 9 p.m., 10, 11. And um, I, I don't know about you, when I was young, I could get away with it. Like, I could I could wake up late and I, and, uh, and I know some people do that. But um, it doesn't really help now. I, I think at least for me, I notice that my body is changing and my body is more sensitive to light. And so what, what happens is that I would sleep at 2 or 3 and I have to wake up, like I automatically wake up at 7 a.m. And that didn't used to happen to me. And 7 a.m. is about the time where the light would stream through the curtains and would wake me up. Wearing sleep blinders um, didn't help me at all. So, um, the time of sleep is important uh, because our body actually is pretty sensitive to light. It's, it's actually the natural circadian uh, rhythm. If you actually look at uh, people in the past, in, during the agricultural society and all that, they actually work according to sunrise and sunset. And that's, I think, how our body actually evolved. If we talk about following the natural biological rhythm, um, and this, all these artificial lights, this modern invention that allows us to work later because we have electricity and lights, um, all these are actually pretty artificial. And it, uh, but of course, you know, it stresses the body, but the body can take the stress. It's pretty resilient. So we don't really see it as stressing the body, but in the end, it does come out uh, two, three decades later as some form of health condition. So, um, so that's one, you know, the, our sensitivity to light uh, just because of how we have evolved. Um, and I don't think it's prudent even if you are young and you are able to afford that cost to, you know, try to get away with it because you just have to pay back later. Um, the second point about uh, it is our body's natural detoxification cycle. I mentioned in a previous video that uh, our body starts detoxing at about 11 p.m. So it's good to sleep before that because if you sleep later, your body doesn't have sufficient rest and that particular organ, and liver is one of the most important ones, doesn't get enough healing during, that, during the night. 
Uh, and finally, the part about um, sleep duration. I think um, duration of sleep is important. Um, and sometimes it's, it's not a matter of, e like even if I wanted to sleep 68 hours, but because I had bad sleeping habits and I was sleeping at 2 a.m., it meant that I, it only resulted me in getting five hours of sleep. And... Um, and I had to make some adjustments. But sometimes it's difficult. If you stay at 2 a.m. and you want to stay at 10 p.m., you know, the next, the following week, it's not going to happen because your body is just, is, 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 you, know, you have programmed your body into a bad habit. So you have to slowly reverse it. Uh, you can either slowly shift the sleeping time earlier. Um, you can try to exhaust your body so that you force it to sleep at uh, 10 p.m. That's, that's, kind of possible as well but I always feel that we should be gentle with our bodies um, and um, there are things that you can do to actually ease yourself into sleep you have a really, very um, soothing sleep routine so for example avoid um, cut, cut out anything that's too stimulating right don't take coffee of course uh, don't surf on the internet before you sleep, don't surf on your mobile. Um, this is because the light, there's a lot of light coming out from all these devices and it actually, um, it, it actually uh, allow, allows the body to misunderstand that it's still day. There's a lot of stimulation, so the body doesn't have that time to settle down. So uh, it'd be good to do some reading, you know, night reading, you know, start to dim the lights. Of course, not too dim so, because you're still reading or play some nice music, you know, or just read some books, or have some nice conversation. Yeah, so uh, you sh we should do that just before we sleep. And, um, yeah, so these are things uh, These are things that we actually can do to help uh, help our body to rest. So I hope this, uh, I hope this video helps you. Um, don't underestimate sleep. Make sure you sleep before 10 p.m. Make sure you have at least seven hours, but optimally eight or nine. All right, so that's all for today, and I'll see you in the next video.